G'day, Byron Foss again here from the Drake Group. Today we're featuring the Ophi box loader. This is the multi-loader here. Uh, the, the, the box loader has a few different ranges. This one's the multi-loader and everything I go through today is standard on this uh, particular side loader. Uh, the box loader was introduced to the, the Ophi Group because, you know, obviously we build skells, we build drop decks, flat tops, everything with container pins. Kind of it just makes sense to introduce a side loader into the range. The chassis is an OFI chassis, of course, high tensile, 700 grade steel to keep the tear weight down. The cranes are imported from France. Um, we've got a really good relationship with the box loader people and, uh, you know, it just made sense to pair the two together. So let's go through some of the features and benefits of our OFI box loader. The chassis is 700 grade high tensile steel. Some of the other unique things about it is the bottom flange is all one piece, pretty much to just in front of the axle group. So the one piece bottom flange also incorporates the skid plate. Skid plate is also 700 grade steel, so it's not going to wear out like a 350 grade skid plate is. So no welder joins means that we're giving you a lot stronger trailer for lighter tear. It's all about tear weight with these things. The lighter the tear, the heavier the box you can put on it. So that's an important feature. I talked before about having unique cylinders for every purpose. Like I said, that means we're not unnecessarily filling cylinders of oil, which is wasting oil, wasting time. Every cylinder is built unique for that particular purpose. Quite unique to the OFI box loader as well as the fact that all of our hydraulic rams are mounted using not only pins, but spherical bearings. Quite often when you lift containers up, they're unevenly loaded. That puts a lot of twist through your cranes and therefore through the hydraulic rams. With this sort of twisting, I guess, in other makes of uh, side loader, that puts a lot of pressure on your rams, on your seals, and obviously on the chrome rods as well. By having them mounted in spherical bearings both end, the, that allows the hydraulic rams to move with the crane and not put those forces through the ram itself. So you get better life out of your seals, better life out of your rods and your pins and bushes. Um, maintenance, really easy on these. We've got a single grease nipple point, which then feeds off to all of your pins and bushes. Um, you know, I guess that means you don't have to get up on top of the machine and grease all those other points. Everything, as you can see, grease straight through there and it feeds off to all the individual points. Very handy. As we make our way down the passenger side of the vehicle, I guess what you'll notice is, you know, everything is on the passenger side. We like to keep the driver's side or the loading side free of any obstacles. So, um, you know, toolbox, combined fuel and oil tank, everything's over here, so we're not damaging it when we're, you know, lifting containers on and off. Toolbox, they come standard with a few spare parts too. We've also got these links in here uh, to link the 220s together if you're lifting on the 220s at the same time. Manual controls, if you ever lose your radio remote control. Combined oil and diesel tank, 120 litres of diesel, so good capacity. And right here we've got our starter box as well. Your oil level is on the side of the oil tank here. Your fuel gauge is inside the starter box here, along with your hour meter, glow plugs, that sort of stuff. So glow operation for those colder environments. Filtering hydraulic oil is really important. Um, most side loaders just have a return filter here. We also have put two high pressure filters into the system, one for each crane, I suppose. So before it goes through the valve bank, it goes through a high pressure filter and then into the valve bank and into your, into your cylinders. So that's just a way of keeping the oil nice and clean. The high pressure filters have got green and red signals on them obviously when they're all good they're green when the filter's starting to be blocked it'll turn to red you know telling the workshop or operators hey it's time to change those high pressure filters and then of course it gets filtered as the oil comes back into the tank right at the cap here now the engine is bolted in the engine mounts are up high there bolted into the middle of the chassis you can drop the whole unit out together if need be for for working on it so uh, just, a, just a handy little thing to have there for maintenance when required. Nothing's welded in, in other words, you don't have to cut it out and then re-weld it. You just undo some bolts and drop it all down. Standard for the uh, OP box loader is a Hendrickson Intrax suspension with the narrow bush. Uh, we've got HXL5 hubs on this one. 
Um, lightest suspension, one of the lightest suspension on the market. Again, tear weight's important. That's why we've chosen this. Also fitted with our coal wheels. Again, about saving tear weight. A 61 horsepower Perkins engine runs all the hydraulics on this trailer. We, we have run them off a of PDO before, again, to try and save a little bit of tear weight, but yeah, you know, come standard with this. Obviously handy for workshop functions, that sort of thing, thing not having to have a truck hooked up to it. The amount of cycles these trailers do, uh, we've tried to make things uh, easily replaceable. You'll see the bumpers bolt on, signs are bolt on, so a lot easier to replace if you have those incidents. None of us like having them, but it's a fact of life, I suppose. As we make our way around to the back of the trailer here, you know, you've got your DG sign, as you can see. All hella lights as standard. Um, and I suppose this is the brains of the operation. So um, the screen here is a colour screen, so you get to see, you know, if you're ready to lift, the legs are out, if you've got enough weight on those legs, how much you can lift, depending on the positioning of the legs. All those things are important. So um, battery charger, um, yeah, and the, uh, the full radio remote. So the radio remote as well, we always give you two, the standard with this, uh, this trailer, and uh, you know, you've always got the, your other one with the, chip, the battery always charged ready to go. So it's always handy to have that there. Lots of safety equipment on this box loader as well as standard. We've got flashing lights all over, we've got the witch's hats, we've got e-stops, uh, everything there to make your job a lot safer. Sliding the container from the 20 foot position out to the 40, and then obviously in again. Uh, some side loaders require, a, you know, your degrees, the top flange here. We have a lubricated nylon pad in here, so no need for grease up here. Obviously grease attracts dirt, grime, dust, grit, that sort of thing. Having the lubricated nylon slide, you know, just means you're not gonna have that uh, rapid wear of those components. Uh, standard with the box loader, we got this um, container positioning sensor. So it's wide in your reverse circuit. So as you reverse up to the container, it picks up where the container is, light comes on, tells the driver where you're at, and then you can put the maxis on, come out and load the container up. We've made a lot of improvements to the OP box loader. I guess, uh, you know, the high tensile steel frame is one, but as well as that, we've the power pack now pumps out 24 volts. All the sensors are multi-volt, so they run between eight and 32 volts. When you start with 24, you're just going to have a better electrical circuit. If you're starting with 12, the sensors operate on 8. If you get a little bit of voltage drop here and there, the sensors can play up. Starting with 24 volt just means you're going to get, you know, a more reliable unit. So if you're in the market for a container side loader, you know, the Drake Group can really help you with an OFI box loader. There's a few different models. Uh, this one, as we've been through today, is the multi-loader. Probably the most versatile. Uh, you can do ground to trailer transfers, trailer to trailer, double stack nine foot six containers on the ground. Very versatile unit. So yeah, give us a call and we'd love to go through it with you and uh, send you a quote if, if you'd like. Thanks very much.